everybody, today we're going to be going through a methods question uh, basically involving uh, calculus and in particular tangents. Okay, so this is another question. I've already posted one up, but this is this, um, just a little, maybe slightly harder, I'm not sure. Okay, so we're going to be going through this one. It says find the coordinates of the parabola um, x squared minus x minus 6 at which the gradient is 0. The tangent is parallel to that line, and then I've added in a second version of the question. Okay, so th that question is just going to be separate to all of these. So, if we want to find um, the coordinates of the parabola at which the gradient is zero, what we need to do is first we need to work out the gradient of that parabola. Okay, so we need to dy over dx it. And when we do that, it becomes 2x minus 1. So that is the equation for the gradient, and because we know that they have told us that the gradient is equal to zero, basically that means that dy over dx is zero, so we replace that with zero. We rearrange and we will get x value being one over two. So once we've done that, we know that um, as we have to substitute it into this equation because we want to get the coordinates, okay? So all we need to do now is just put the half in. So it's half squared minus half minus 6. So that's going to give us a quarter minus 2 on 4 minus 24 on 4. So eventually we're going to get an answer of minus 23 on 4, I believe. Yep. Okay, so y equals to minus 23 over 4. So that should be your coordinate. You can put it in coordinate form by going x bracket, x comma y. So it looks like this particular answer is going to be half minus 23 over 24, over 4, sorry. Okay, the next question says the tangent, find the coordinates of the parabola, of which the tangent is parallel to the line here. So they've given you a line and they're telling you that the tangent is parallel to it. So I'll just show you basically what we are given, okay? Whatever parabola this is, and I don't, haven't sketched this in advance, so I'm just going to make a completely different question up. Just going to show you a parabola. Now, if we know, if we take an external line and say, say like that, we draw this line, that's not a horizontal, that's a little bit slope, and we... And we say that the tangent, tangent touching this curve must be parallel to that. That means that your tangent must go somewhere through here. And it will be parallel to that line, meaning that it's the same slope. Okay, so sometimes they give you an external line. They tell you information about the external line. And using that, you have to apply it to your tangent. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to see that basically whatever gradient we have for this particular line, okay, this external line, is going to be the same gradient of your tangent. Okay, so we're just going to rearrange that and put it into y equals to 6 minus x. As soon as we do that, we can identify the gradient. The gradient is basically the number in front of x. So the gradient is equal to minus 1. And as soon as we've got minus 1, we are now looking for where you know, where that is located on your actual curve. So we need to get the curve's gradient. 2x minus 1. We substitute this being the gradient. We take that on the other side. It becomes 0 because these two are the same thing. It goes to 2x. And then basically we get an x value of 0. So, after we've done that, we can substitute the zero value into that, into that equation and get y is equal to minus 6. So basically, it looks like the answer for this particular question is going to be 0 and minus 6. Okay? Finally, um, I, have, I have this question. Now, what I'm going to change is I'm going to change this around. I'm going to ask you to find the normal, or ask myself actually, to find the normal at the point of x equals to minus 1. 
Okay, so, now if you remember whatever graph you have, okay, to find a normal, first of all you have to find the tangent. So, you have to find where the tangent is, and after you've done that, you can then identify your normal, because your normal is going 90 degrees to that tangent. So the normal is just an equation of a line still, but it's going 90 degrees to your tangent. So first of all, you need to find the gradient of your tangent. Okay, now we know what point it's at. We know it's at x equals to minus 1, so this time we're not finding coordinates or anything. We know the point. We still have to find our y coordinate actually. So we will do that straight away. Minus 1 squared, minus or plus 1, minus 6. That becomes 2, minus 6, which is minus 4. So basically you know that the coordinate at which your normal and your tangent go through is minus 1 and minus 4. This is the point of crossing. After you've done this, you now can identify basically your gradient at the value of x equals to minus 1. Because you have the equation of your gradient from differentiating this. Okay, you plug minus 1 into here, and you will get minus 3. So now you know that the gradient is equal to minus 3. So, basically that gradient of the curve is the same gradient as your actual line. And you can find, this is the gradient of your tangent, remember. Now, to find the gradient of your normal, the gradient of the normal is found by using this particular formula here, where the gradient of your tangent multiplied by the gradient of your normal equals to minus 1. That's just a rule, and it works when they're 90 degrees apart. Okay, so we just plug minus 3 into here. It's going to put minus 3 into there. And now we just have to rearrange. So we're going to have to bring this minus 3 and divide it on the other side. And that basically, the plus, the minuses cancel, and you will get 1 over 3. Okay, so that's the gradient of your normal. Okay, and finally, after we've done that, we can basically substitute it into our equation y equals to mx plus c, uh, where y is equal to this value, because, and m is equal to, remember you use the normal of your, the gradient of your normal, minus, uh, a third, times by a value of x, which is minus 1, plus c. So we now need to find our value of c, and that's just um, going to be minus 4 equals to a third, Minus the third plus c. We rearrange this so we're going to go minus 12 on 3 plus 1 on 3 equals to our value of c, which means that c is minus 11 over 3. Okay, so finally, if we want to get the equation for the normal, all we have to do is just go y equals to a third, which was the gradient of the normal, x plus c, which is actually minus 11 over 3. Okay? Just note that they can sometimes express that differently in a multiple choice question. Sometimes they decide, hey, we're going to make life more difficult by timesing everything by 3 and rearranging it. So sometimes you'll find your question will be 3y equals to x minus 11. And then they're just going to take x over the other side just to be annoying. Okay, minus 11 equals to, sorry, minus x equals to 11. Then they can do whatever they want with the positive and negative signs to balance the equation. Okay, so I hope this made sense. I hope you learned something today. I look forward to seeing you later and just check out the website. I've placed in heaps more information on there and yeah, have a great day.